Alright people, welcome to the deck profile for the 3.5 Axis Fire Fist. So, uh, as you guys know, in the last list, uh, we got Spirit back up to 3 here in the TCG. And uh, I just wanted to go ahead and play the deck. It actually topped, I think, one tournament. I think by Billy Break, I want to say. If I'm wrong, then I'm sorry. But I think he topped it once, and I was, you know, picked a lot of people's interests, including mine. I was like, you know, I never really got a chance to go ahead and actually try the the three axis of fire fist because like pretty much as soon as it came out here and TG got hit like spirit got hit down to one like immediately because of what it was doing in the OCG now this is um I believe after we split because I know I think the OCG actually hit uh chicken the one or rooster while we hit spirit and the spirit was a much bigger hit you know like you can clearly see I only play two chicken you only you don't need that many chicken you can you can play with one chicken but uh when it comes to spirit like as you can clearly see, the Thrax just actually got hit, didn't really do much here. I mean, it still doesn't do much, much now, just because the deck has got outpaced. And it seems like, as of late, Konami was like, here, you know, you're not relevant anymore. Go ahead and have your cards back. You, you know, I guess Konami doesn't think that uh, these decks of the past can keep up with the current deck of the meta. And as a clear saw, I mean, I saw a couple of people using, uh, you know, 3.5 axis. Uh, fire fist entering tournaments, but you know nothing came of it. You know I've never seen one top besides that Billy Break one. Even when I went to Utah, I think there's a couple of them and nope. So uh, you know Konami get gave him Spirit back, and this play, the play that Spirit does is just very powerful. Pluses you a lot, and uh, overall the deck was kind of fun. And just you know I get the gist of it. That's the, that's the reason why it's getting taken off. I get the gist of it. I want to move on and do a different deck. So. We'll go ahead and start the deck profile. So of course, triple bear. Bear is the leader of the deck. Like I don't care. Spirit type three bear is the one that you should fear. Bear throwing that chair, hitting you directly, getting that tanky, getting that. Ten gets bear is just so good. Like when Wolf Bark got hit, and I was like, before that list where everybody's like, oh yeah, hit Wolf Bark down to one. I was like, hit Bear down to one. You know, I don't give a shit. You can have three fucking Wolf Barks, but if you only have one bear, I mean, you know, so. Uh, I was saying bear, but it ended up being wolf bark, but wolf bark is also back at 3, and this deck is pretty much at full power, except for the rekindling, but this card is unhealthy in itself, but hey, uh, so yeah, definitely triple bear, one gorilla, I really don't need one gorilla, especially since I have triple gorilla, key, triple MST, pretty much it's just in case I have these extra cards, these extra tankies, tensus, whatever, sit on the field, and go ahead and send gorilla, throw it, and then also I generally like to use gorilla and bear to go ahead and make cardinal whenever I get the chance, because this guy's actually really powerful, but it's, he's, he's kind of difficult to get out. I mean, with the Tensu, it's just kind of difficult to get out because I, as you can clearly see, I don't have a lot of level 4 Fire Fist I can XC into Cardinal with, but uh, still a nice card that you should run. If you're running Fire Fist, just maybe just run one. You won't, you probably, most of the time you won't summon him, but when you do, he'll be powerful. Alright, and of course, Triple Spirit went up to 3, so, uh, you know, very powerful. Go ahead and uh, target the level 3 <coughs> Fire Monster with 200 defense in your graveyard. And special summon it when it's summoned. So pretty much you summon this. You can summon him. You can summon uh, is it two hundred? That's two hundred. So yeah, you can summon uh, chicken. Uh, so you know, generally you go ahead and just summon leopard, tribute leopard. Go ahead and get either your tanky or tensu, whatever which one you don't have, and then activate the tanky tensu. Tanky searching for a spirit or tensu just to get that additional summon. If you already have the spirit, spirit summon back the leopard uh, synchro summon because. <clears throat> Spirit is a tuner, so go ahead and Synchro Summon into Horse Prince. Horse Prince says when it's called Synchro Summon, you can special summon one level 4 monster. Remember deck, but after Synchro Summon, you cannot special summon level 5 or higher for the rest of the turn, which you're generally not going to do. So, you go ahead and use this effect uh, to special summon Cardinal. Cardinal says when it's called Special Summon by effect of Fire Fist monster, of course, being Horse Prince. You can add a Fire Fist and a uh, Fire Fist monster from your deck to him. And then you can use the second effect. Yes, you can use both effects to go ahead and take like a dead tanky or something and switch it out for a different fire formation. So, very powerful. Uh, Leopard to help with that combo and to help with consistency of getting my tankies and my tensus and stuff like that. Works really well with spirit and, uh, you know, consistency is key. Uh, I run two chicken. Chicken's kind of cloggy and just like kind of like messing gelato and Madoches, you generally don't want to run chicken because he doesn't really do anything when you normal summon him. You know, you actually want that additional effect that when you special summon, so you want to special summon it from the deck with a horse prince, not draw into it and summon it because he's not that good because all you get to do is do your switch effect. That special summon search is actually pretty powerful because you're just plusing. You know, you just special summon from the deck with a super, which is a plus. Then you get to search from it as well, so you're just super blessing. So. I uh, decided to just put him up to, uh, 
I really didn't feel like you needed three. Just two is enough. You know, it, you should build up enough resources just from two. Uh, I run triple with Bark. I know some decks run only two because at this point it's not really, uh, you know, uh, plus one fire fist that, you know, ran a lot of wolf Bark. And uh, he can get clogged at times because he's not a fire fist, but uh, generally I believe that wolf Bark is just a nice play to have, you know. And with it being at three, that means that I don't really have to worry about tanky searching it, then I'll just draw it eventually, and if shit hits the fan, then I know that wolf Bark wolf has got my back, so, and how much I love bear, you know, it's probably going to be a bear in the graveyard for wolf Park to uh, use, so, there you go, uh, and that's the monsters, 15 monsters, like I said, with, uh, with leopard, and of course, tanky at three, the deck is already fairly consistent, so, uh, 15 monsters is totally fine, because, in a sense, it's kind of like 21 monsters, all right, next, of course, triple tanky, triple goyoku, I love goyoku, I love to just go ahead and just play it, and it's, step on one of my opponent's cards, I like to, you know, hit you with bear, and if I don't need a tanky, just go ahead and grab that Goyoku, and then main phase two, just bam, nope, Goyoku, you know, I just really like this card, and, uh, even with the trip, I even like the triple MST, triple Goyoku, like, most of the time, um, I'm not really worried about my opponent's monsters, I can generally handle them, I'm worried about the background, so get the background out of the way, and, uh, stay up in resources, and just win. Um, I run triple Tensu, and the reason why I run triple Tensu is to open up with my, uh, horse prints play more consistently, uh, you could probably drop this down with two, but I definitely want to get that play off. You know, that play is probably one of the most powerful plays in the deck. And uh, I just want to make sure that I'm able to get this play off. So uh, I don't have to worry about, like, oh, well, you know, I wish I had a Tensu right now. I'm running the max amount of Tensus, max amount of Tankies, max amount of Spirits, and the max amount of Leopard to make sure that that uh, three axis play goes off. Run one with Kindling because, you know, there's a couple monsters in here with 200 defense, you know, you and you. So, you know. With the power of rekindling, I could maybe go into another horse pins, maybe another Vulcan, so uh, this card's just super good. And I can still attack too, so you know, it's even better than Soul Charge. I don't pay anything. I just special summon a whole bunch, so you know, I don't even care if, you know, Fire Monster 2 and Defense aren't relevant. I'm glad that they hit this card to one and I don't think it should move because this card's just one of them dumb cards. It really is. Next, one Geki, of course about my opponent's field, hit him. You know, like I said, if I'm locking down the back row with the Goyokis and the MSTs, and the only thing that you got to rely on is monsters and I get you and out resource you, then that's going to be game anyway. And then, of course, triple MST. Guys, yay, pop back row. And then I got some back row, though. So, 14 spells. So, of course, triple Phoenix Chain. This card puts it out where it locks it down. Uh, then, triple Mirror Force, because <clears throat> sometimes I don't open up too well. Plus, you know, generally, you gotta kill the bear. You gotta go. You see the bear, you gotta kill the bear, and when you push, I'm gonna go ahead and mirror force you, and then you're gonna be out of monsters, I'm gonna poke you and get my pluses, so, um, definitely triple mirror force. Uh, then, my one ups. I was debating on this, but, of course, bottom of course, solemn warning. I'm not the biggest fan of Ring of Destruction, but I like it more than Trent Contribute, so I said, fuck it, let's just go ahead and go with Ring of Destruction. My uh, Compulsive isn't the best of cards right now, but, like I said, I don't like to start my own shit, so I was like, eh, I'm not gonna go with Trent Contribute, I'm not gonna go with Dark Hole, and I really don't need the Soul Charge, so I was like, yeah, fuck it, sure, Compulsive, more background, and then, of course, banning something this. Uh, so, there you go, 11 traps. I should act. Uh, I like Triple Horse Prints. You could probably cut this down to two, but, you know, I, I have a lot of space, so I was like, fuck it, let's go ahead and case. I don't want to be, like, horse princeless. Yeah, you know, I want to be like, oh, man, I don't have the horse prince right now. So I want to make sure I always got it. Uh, Vulcan, really powerful because you can carry one face of card you control and one uh, face of card your opponent controls and turn those targets to the hand. So, you know, especially with, you know, tankies and, you know, uh, you know, fingers chains that might be still on the field. You know, I can just go ahead, instead of going horse prince, go for Vulcan. Target my tanky, target one of your monsters. It, you know, if it's a monster that returns the hand, go back to the hand. But, you know, if he goes back to Astro Jackson, hey, you you just nagged. And I get my tanky back. I can't play this turn, but, you know, I still get my tanky back. So, pretty powerful. Uh, I don't know. I just, generally, I just throw shit in here in Astro Deck. So, 101 with the Castells. I don't know. I'm, at this point, I just throw 101 in because I can't think of anything. Next to Tom Cowboy. Um, you know, I have continual spells, so if I really need to, Heartland can stall me out. Um, Zen main, just in case I need to go summon, summon instead of synchro summoning, just go into Zen mains. And, um, uh, two tigers, because they help with consistency and give me them tickies with the wolf bark plays if I'm not, you know, on the defensive, but yet on the offensive, and then, like I said, the one cardinal. So, there we go. There is the 3.5 axis fire fist deck that has been on daily deals for a short amount of time, like I said. Uh, it's not that the deck is bad, it's not that the deck is boring, I'm just, I get the gist of it, and that's enough for me to go ahead and just move it off. So, like I said, 
uh, you're gonna get double daily duels today. You're gonna get, of course, this deck profile, and then at 1:30 Pacific time, you're gonna get the deck that will be replacing uh, this deck on uh, daily duels for Fridays. So I hope you guys are looking forward to it. So thanks for watching. Thanks to all support. And like I said, I will see you guys in the deck that will be replacing this deck on Fridays for daily duels. All right, people. Thanks for watching.